Hello everyone. Welcome to English Classroom. I am Ken Patil. In today's lesson, I am going to teach you a wonderful and heart-touching poem that is To a Pair of Solar Screens written by Manmohan Singh. So, let's get started the beautiful poem now. Before going to analysis of the poem, let's recite once. The mail was shot as he neck to pull the reluctant sun out from the rim of horizon. She flew crying as he was picked up hands and jaws and a proud neck was humbled to lie like dirty linen in a coarse washing bag. She circled the sky in moments of grace over his disgraceful end. The killers went away and she returned to death's scene with grief that inscribed its intensity in dots and pits like the most code of bird sorrow transmitted to the air with her beak she kissed a few feathers picked the ones that wind had not taken away and sat to hatch the blood stained feathers into a toddling chick a wave of the seas she had never seen came to her from far away and carried her to him she went away beyond hume's words beyond the legend and fables of human love let's analyze the poem stanza wise now the first stanza The mail was shot as he necked to pull the reluctant sun out from the rim of horizon. One morning the bird hunters killed the male bird which was joyfully flying in the sky along with its partner. The scene was looked like the male bird was stretching its neck to pull the reluctant sun who was not ready to come out of the horizon but unfortunately a cruel hunter shot the male bird. as you can see in the picture two birds are flying those are solar screens and the male bird was trying to pull the reluctant sun from the rim of horizon because the sun is not ready to come out from the horizon that's why the male bird was forcefully trying to pull the reluctant sun from the horizon and suddenly there a hunter came and he targeted the male bird and shot it down second stanza she flew crying as he was picked up hands and jaws and a proud neck was humbled to lie like dirty linen in a coarse washing bag the female sorrow screen was helplessly saw the death of her male partner she flew crying over the death place as the bird hunter showed his callousness on the dead body of the male bird he treated the dead body of the bird like a waste thing the bird's neck was humbled he picked it up with its hands and jaws and put it into a rough washing bag like a waste thing here we can see that after the death of her partner the female bird was crying and flying in the sky and the bird hunters they simply went and picked the dead body of the male bird with its hands and jaws they are not treating it correctly they are not treating it properly the proud neck of the uh, male bird was humbled and they are treating the dead body like a waste thing they went and picked the dead body and simply they put into a coarse washing bag they never care about the feelings of birds third stanza of the poem she circled the sky in moments of grace over his disgraceful end the killers went away and she returned to death scene with grief that inscribed its intensity in dots and pits like the most code of bird sorrow transmitted to the air the female bird was flying over the death scene in graceful movements while the male bird met its disgraceful death hunters carried the male bird's body away the female bird returned to death scene it was completely heartbroken and expressed its grief by crying in dots and pits like the symbolic language of moose
to express the sorrow of a bird. As you can see in the picture, the female bird was flying in the sky very gracefully, while at the same time the male bird was going to meet its disgraceful end. The killers, after killing the male bird, left the place. They went away with the dead body of the male bird and the female bird returned to the death scene and it was completely heartbroken and it was expressing its grief by crying in dots and pits like the symbolic language of moss. Yes, you can see in the picture the female bird was sitting and crying a lot. That was the place of the male bird's death. Fourth stanza of the poem With her beak, she kissed a few feathers, picked the ones that we had not taken away, and sat to hatch the blood-stained feathers into a toddling chick. With her beak, the female bird kissed the blood-stained feathers which were not taken away by the wind and collected them and tried to hatch them into a small chick. It was hoping to bring the life of male birds back. This action of the female bird shows the agony and the grief in its heart. Yes, after the death of the male bird, the bird hunters carried the dead body of the male bird away. And after they went away, the female bird returned to death place and she was kissing the feathers which were not taken away by the wind. You can see in the picture, the female bird was collecting all the feathers and she was kissing few feathers there. Why this female bird was collecting all those feathers? Because she wants to bring the life of the male bird back to earth. She wanted to hatch them. That's why she was collecting all those feathers. Still, she was, she was believing that I will definitely bring back the life of male birds. It completely become mad. The final stanza of the poem A wave of the seas she had never seen came to her from far away and carried her to him. She went away beyond Hume's words, beyond the legend and fables of human love. In the end, a huge wave which was never seen by the female bird was came there and carried her to its male partner. It means that the female bird too lost its life in the wave to meet her partner. The female bird shows her love is greater than the Hume's words and the legend and fable stories. As you can see in the picture, a huge wave which was not seen by that a female bird in her whole life came because it cannot see the grief of that female bird. That's why it came to carry the female bird towards it, its partner. The poet is telling the love of that female bird is greater than Hume's words and the legend and fable stories. So it is not lesser than human's love. Finally, in the end, the female bird met her partner in her death. The themes of the poem. In this poem, we can see two important themes. The first one is cruelty or callousness of the bird hunters. Early one morning, when a pair of solar screens were enjoying their precious moments, cruel hunters came to hunt the birds. They didn't think of anything before the shooting of the male bird, which was looked like pulling the reluctant sun out of the edge of the horizon. They simply shot the male bird and killed it. They treated the dead body like a waste. They humbled the neck of the male bird which was the symbol of its proudness. And they picked the dead body with its hands and jaws and kept it in their washing bag. They left the place. They never understood the grief of the female bird which was crying over the death scene. Yes, so when these two solar screens were enjoying their moments, suddenly these bird hunters came to the place and they targeted the male bird and they shot it. They didn't think of, of the feelings of those birds. After the death of that male bird, the female bird was simply crying there. But these hunters are not caring about, that, about the feelings of that female bird. 
after the death of that male bird they simply picked it up with its hands and jaws and put it into waste washing bag and they left the place all these actions of the bird hunters shows that they are very cruel the second theme of the poem agony and desperation of the female bird when the hunter when the hunters shot down the male bird the female bird had completely become heartbroken and it circled the sky and cried a lot as soon as the bird hunters left the place by putting the dead body of the male bird in their coarse washing bag she returned to death place and collected all the blood stained feathers and tried to hatch them into a small chick it was hoping to bring the life of male birds back and when a huge wave come to carry her towards her partner she lost her life to meet him in her death this action of the female bird shows the agony and the grief in its heart the female bird shows her love is greater than the hume's words and the legend and fable stories yes in this uh, second theme we can see the feelings or uh, agony of the female bird you can see in the picture two pictures you can understand the feeling of that female bird how it was behaving after the death of her partner in this picture we can see the female bird was collecting all those blood stained feathers and she want to hatch them she want to bring the life of that male bird back to earth and in the second picture you can see she was crying a lot is yes, after the bird hunters went away from the place she simply came back to the death scene and collected all those feathers which were not taken away by the wind and she tried to hatch because she still believing that i can bring back the life of my partner still she was believing but it was not possible for her actually the poet is telling that the love of this female bird is greater than hume's words and the legend and fable stories thank you for watching and don't forget to hit the like button and share the video with your friends let's meet in next class it was great to see you again have a good day